066. This law aims to protect, preserve, conserve, and promote the nation's cultural heritage, its property and history, and the ethnicity of local communities. It also aims to establish and strengthen cultural institutions and protect cultural workers and ensure their professional development and well-being. The Act defines six categories of cultural properties. National Cultural Treasures, Important Cultural Property, World Heritage Sites, National Historical Shrine, National Historical Monument, and National Historical Landmark. Why is it important to preserve our cultural heritage as a Filipino? Because it gives us an irrefutable connection to the past, to certain social values, beliefs, customs, and traditions that allows us to identify ourselves with other and deepen our sense of unity, belonging, and national pride. And how can we preserve the cultural heritage of the Philippines? The UNESCO declares that there are two approaches to preserve cultural heritage. One is to record it in intangible form and conserve it in an archive. Second is to preserve it in a living form by ensuring its transmission to the next generations. The establishment of SLT is in response of the second approach. Heritage, tourism, and preservation are interconnected concepts that plays a crucial role in the conservation and promotion of cultural and natural treasures. Heritage refers to both materials or built forms and immaterial forms that hold historical, cultural, or natural significance. Tourism, on the other hand, refers to the activity of traveling to different destinations for leisure, exploration, and recreational purposes. Preservation involves efforts to protect and maintain heritage sites, artifacts, traditions, and natural resources in present and future generations. There is a topic also called heritage assets, which refers to the diverse range of cultural and natural elements that contribute to the overall heritage of a society. There are five types of heritage which are tangible heritage, intangible heritage, built heritage, natural heritage, and cultural heritage. The significance of heritage assets lies in their ability to preserve and showcase the unique cultural and natural elements that contribute to a society's overall. The examples of this in the Philippines is the Pauai Church, Banao Rice Terraces, Tubataha, Reefs Natural Park, and many more. What is cultural mapping? Cultural mapping refers to a wide range of research techniques and tools used to map distinct peoples, tangible and intangible cultural assets within local landscapes around the world. How it works? Intangibles examples are galleries, crop industries, distinctive landmarks, local events, and industries, while in intangibles are memories, personal, histories, attitudes, and values. After researching the elements that make a community unique, cultural mapping involves initiating a range of community activities or projects to record, conserve, and use the elements. What is goal of cultural mapping? The most fundamental goal of cultural mapping is to help communities recognize, celebrate, and support cultural diversity for economic, social and regional development the example intangibles first is the galleries example are Trisologa museum historical town of the vegan and the national museum of the philippines ilocos regional complex next is the craft examples are the midi or red clay industries burning pottery and the able loom weaving Next is the landmark. The example are Cali Crisologo Balwarte Resort and the Mini Zoo, Bantay Bell Tower, and the Chapel by the Ruins. Lastly is the events. The examples are Reina Ak or the Vegan Twilight Festival, Pinat Button Festival, and the Vegan Lunganisa Festival, and the Vegan Town Fiesta. So now let's proceed to why cultural mapping is important. 
Mapping culture is one way to ensure the cultural heritage management in undertaken by the indigenous people. Not only it is important to ensure the indigenous people map their own intangible culture for the record keeping and education of the younger generation. And the wider population, it is critical for the indigenous communities to have access to training and innovation in mapping tech to continue the adapt of the stories of the ancestors to new technologies.